Cicadas are weird and wild creatures. Living most of their lives underground, they emerge seemingly randomly to transform from a terrestrial bug into a winged orchestra member in just a matter of weeks to fly around, procreate, and ultimately die. Cicada's first cue to emerge is when the soil reaches 64 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius, usually when the first warm rain of the season arrives in late April. April showers bring mass subterranean bug uprisings, as they say. Cicadas tunnel up from the tree roots where they spend their lives sipping on root sap and make the long, arduous journey up to the terrestrial realm. This is one of the benefits that cicadas contribute to our environment. With so many little bugs tunneling up, they successfully aerate the soils, diminishing anaerobic bacteria that harbor methane and give those roots they've been mooching off of more room to grow. When we first see cicadas on the surface, they're in their first stages of molting. It's like a metamorphosis where they shed their exoskeleton to reveal new wings that will help them take flight during their next few weeks on the surface. Although it may seem random, cicadas emerge every 13 to 17 years depending on the species. Fun fact, cicadas are total math nerds because the years they emerge are both prime numbers. It's a number that's only divisible by itself and the number one. One theory to explain why cicadas adhere to this peculiar cycle is because their chances of survival as a species are higher if everyone goes up to the surface to party at once. There's no way any single predator could eat them all. What results from this cycle is a huge deposit of nitrogen when cicadas shed their exoskeletons, which is exactly what trees and other plants need in spring for ideal plant growth. Furthermore, it's a feeding frenzy for birds, squirrels, and other creatures breaking their winter fast. They're known to be a food source for animals such as raccoons, frogs, snakes, and squirrels. In some cultures, including certain Native American communities, cicadas have been a traditional food source for centuries. However, it's important to note that cicadas may contain elevated levels of mercury and can cause allergic reactions in some individuals. This year in particular is going to be one of the ultimate cicada emergences we've seen in this century. More specifically, since 1803. Because 13 and 17 are prime numbers, the only way the two cycles will ever sync up are every 221 years, aka 13 times 17. Last time this happened in the world, Thomas Jefferson was president in the US, America had just purchased the Louisiana Territory, meteors were just definitively determined to be from outer space thanks to Jean-Baptiste Biot, and this was the year future poet and transcendentalist Ralph Waldo Emerson was born. One of the perhaps most defining characteristics of cicadas is their ability to make loud, sustained calls to one another. Some species in North America can make calls reaching 116 decibels. For comparison, a hedge trimmer is around 100 decibels, and hearing loss can begin at just 80 if it's maintained for long periods of time. So watch out, Midwestern folks. You're in for one loud, hot American summer. The three most prominent species of cicadas emerging this year also have different tonal ranges. As you can see from this map, noise-canceling headphones are going to be in high demand in Missouri since most of the state is in the convergence where all three cicadas are going to be going off this summer. This is Missouri, by the way. Most importantly, if you're in one of these areas, keep in mind that while male cicadas are making their call of the wild, they're also listening. Cicadas have a sort of call and response. The females have their own chirp or clicking noise that can be just as loud as the male cicada's drone. This means any loud noise someone else might be making is an invitation. So power tools, snapping, or any other kind of loud rhythmic activity should be avoided unless you're trying to get all the bugs to your yard. You might already know this, but fun fact, this year 2024 is also going to be a total solar eclipse. The path of totality, or path where the sun will be entirely blocked out by the moon, also happens to pass through the Midwest of the US. What is going to happen in this corner of Missouri on that day? We've got quite a mix of events that Nostradamus himself would be wowed by. With their journey almost complete, cicadas deposit their eggs into the cracks in the tree bark. When the larva develops enough to make their way down to the soil for the next decade plus, the holes their parents, aunties, and cousins made are still intact due to a sticky glue-like substance that cicadas excrete to fortify their tunnels and ensure the next generation has a clear path to the dark depths below. Down into the underground, as David Bowie might say. Alas, like our fair state of Missouri, the cicadas aren't here forever. 
Once their frenzy of song and dance comes to a close, the insects die, somewhat unceremoniously, and litter the forest and any surrounding areas with another big dose of nutrients. Any animals that didn't get their fill at the all-you-can-eat cicada buffet have another chance, and our decomposers go hard at work, ensuring the cycle of life continues. If you have the chance to see the Great Cicada Emergence of 2024, remember, bring some ear protection, or else. If you must snap or make loud clapping noises, just know you will be the object of every male cicada's desire. Bring your cave diving equipment if you're in this corner of Missouri that's going to be swallowed by the depths of hell, and let us know if Arizona is indeed hotter.